So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are going to continue our discussion regarding the angles and direction. In this lecture, mainly we are going to talk about the traverse. But first, what is the traverse? The traverse is a method in the field of surveying to establish control point. For example, if you want to construct a road, you need to have uh, control points. If you want to construct a building, you need to have control uh, points. So the traverse help us to establish control networks through which you will be able to start your surveying work. And technically, traverse series of established stations that are tied together by angle and distance. There are numbers of stations that are connected together by a certain distance and angle. And the angles it could be measured by using the pseudo lights or the total stations. And the distance is, go is going to be measured by the total station or the electronic distance measurement, the EDM, or it could be measured by the steel tapes. And the traverse traverses can be open or it could be closed. So for, for example, this one, the traverse, we have uh, a number of uh, stations. They are uh, tied together by distance and angles. Right. The definition of the traverse, uh, a number of uh, uh, stations tied together or connected together by distance and angles. You can see here distance and angles. This one is open since this point is not connected with that point. And usually we use this uh, for roads and highways. Here we have closed traverse because the, 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 the first and the last point connected together here. We start with A and we finish at A. But here we start at A and we finish at F, for example. So this one is open traverse and this one is closed traverse. So the traverse, it could be open or it could be closed. So it, de de it depends on the direction of the uh, field work or the computation. The line, it could be defined as forward or backwards. So let's say that your computation is starting from A towards B. Then AB is a forward direction. The direction from A to B is a forward direction. And the direction from B to A is a back direction or the backward direction. If your uh, work starts from A to B, B to C, and so on, this is the direction of your work. If the direction of your work starts from A to E and then from E to D, unlike that, then AE is the forward direction and EA is the backward direction. ED is going to be the forward direction and DA is going to be the backward direction. So the direction, it could be, uh, we can call the direction the forward if you are going to work in the same uh, line and it could be backward if you are going to work in the reverse line. So if the work is from A to B, AB is the forward direction and BA is the backward direction. So for example, here, the, the work for, uh, starts from A to B, then this direction AB is going to call the forward direction. And from B to A, is going to be is going, we are going to call this the back direction or the backward direction because the direction is opposite to the uh, direction of the work. And we can relate, we can have a relation between the forward direction and the backward direction. For example, if uh, here we have the line AB, we need to define or describe the direction of AB using the azimuth. Remember, I need to fix the reference uh, line, which is here. So I'm going to measure from the north toward the line in question. Then this one is going to be called the forward azimuth or the forward AB because the, the, the direction of the work from A to B. Then also uh, I can define the, uh, the line uh, BA if let's say that uh, if the, 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 the line starts at B. Then um, in order to define the direction, the backward direction, okay, we are going to put the reference direction here at B and then measure from the north toward the line of question. 
So I have this one and I have that one. Since the work starts from A to B, this one is going to call the forward azimuth for the forward direction, and this one is going to call the backward direction, okay? Because this one opposite to the direction of the work. So how I'm, I'm going to relate the forward direction and the backward direction? If I'm going to extend this line here, then this angle is going to be the same as that angle, right? The angle AB, the same as the angle AB here. Okay, then you can clearly see that this angle from here to here, since I have straight line, the angle is going to be 180. So in this example, in order to relate the forward azimuth and the backward azimuth, I, I will say the back direction or the back azimuth is going to be the forward uh, uh, azimuth plus 180. Okay, plus 180 because 180 is a difference. But this is not always the case. Sometimes I need to subtract 180. For example, if the, the line of work starts from B to A, in this case, the direction BA is going to be the forward direction, and from A to B is going to be the forward direction. If this one is your angle, if this one is the forward direction, and this one is the backward direction, then if I know this value, how I'm going to determine that value? In this case, I'm going to extend that line, and the angle from here to here is going to be the same as this angle, VA, and the difference is going to be 180, and in this case, the value of AB is going to be the value of VA minus 180. So the value it could be plus or minus. So the relation between the forward and the backward, the value of the backward direction equals the forward direction plus or minus 180. So how I'm going to learn when to add 180 and when to subtract 180. If the value of the forward is less than 180, then I'm going to add 180. If the value of the forward is less than, is more than 180, then I'm going to subtract 180. So again, the, the, the back azimuth of a line is determined uh, simply by adding or subtracting 180 to the forward azimuth. When the forward azimuth is more than 180, then 180 is subtracted so that the numerical value of the backward azimuth does not exceed 360. So let's see example for that. So I have this example, very simple example. I have the line AB. The, the work starts from A to B. Then uh, in order to measure the uh, angle or the azimuth of AB, I'm going to fix the line here at the north. I'm going to measure clockwise toward the uh, line AB. So this one is going to represent the forward azimuth. Now, what about the uh, uh, backward azimuth? The backward azimuth, I'm going to uh, put the reference here. Okay. Then I'm going to measure from the north toward the line BA. So this one represents the back azimuth. Here I have the forward azimuth, and here I have the backward azimuth. So how to determine the back, uh, the back azimuth from the forward azimuth? So I need to know, I need to look at the forward azimuth. This angle here is it more than 180 or less than 180? Clearly, 30 is less than 180. Then, in order to determine the value of the back azimuth, is gonna be the forward azimuth plus 180. Why? Because 30 is less 180. So this value. Again, 30 is going to be the same as this one. The difference is 180. So using the formula, this formula here, plus or minus, then the uh, backward azimuth is going to be the forward azimuth, which is 30 plus 180. So here is the relation between the forward azimuth and the backward azimuth. If you know the forward azimuth, you will be able to determine the backward azimuth. And if you know the backward azimuth, also you will be able to determine the forward azimuth. Another example, here I have the line uh, BA, uh, AB, 
this time the we start from A towards B, which means that if I'm going to put the uh, the reference line here measured from the north toward uh, uh, the line AB, this one represent the forward azimuth. Okay, because in this example the uh, surveying work start from A towards B. Now the angle here at B is going to represent the forward azimuth. This one is the uh, 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 the, sorry, this one is the forward azimuth and this one is the backward azimuth. We know the forward azimuth, we need to determine the backward azimuth. In this case, uh, we say that the backward azimuth is going to be the, the forward azimuth plus or minus 180. I need to look at the uh, azimuth AB. This one is more than 180. So in this case, in order to determine the backward azimuth is going to be the forward azimuth minus 180. Why? Because this angle is more than 180. So the 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 backward azimuth, this one, is going to be uh, the forward azimuth minus 180. Not like the previous example. In the previous example, the value of the forward was less than 180. That is why we added 180. Whereas in this example, we are going to subtract 180 because the forward is less than 180. Now look at this example. Another example is this example. The forward is given. Uh, the, the, the work starts from C toward D. So the azimuth of CD represents the forward. And the azimuth of DC represents the backward. And the forward is given. So in this case, what should I do? The value of the forward is given. Then I'm going to examine this value, whether it's more than 180 or less than 180. Clearly, this value is less than 180. So in order to determine the backward azimuth, it's going to be the forward azimuth plus 180, because this one is less than 180. If it's less than 180, I'm going to add 180. If it's more than 180, I'm going to subtract 180. This is how I'm going to relate the forward azimuth or the forward direction and the back direction. So now, uh, the azimuth of BC, the forward of the line BC, knowing the value of the forward uh, 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 of the line AB and the internal angle between the line AB and BC. What we know is the azimuth of the line AB, which means the forward of AB, plus the clockwise angle between the line AB and BC. So we know this internal angle, and also we know the forward angle of the line AB. We need to determine the forward of the line BC, which means this angle here. But before determining this angle, since last time, we learn how to determine the forward, uh, uh, backward line. If we know the forward of the line AB, we'll be able also to determine the backward of the line B, A, A, B. So uh, we, we say that the relation between the forward and the backward is that the forward equals the backward plus or minus 180. If this value more than 180, then we are going to sub subtract 180. If it's more than 180, then we are going to add 180. So in this example, since the value of the forward is more th uh, less than 180, in this case, we are going to add 180. So we know the forward of AB will be easily determined the backward of the line AB. So the, the, the backward of the line AB came out to be this value, represent this angle here. So now what we want to determine is this angle, the forward of the line BC. We can use the trigonometry, simple trigonometry, to determine this value. We know this, okay, and we know that we'll be able to know this easily. So this one is going to be uh, 360. The, 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 the degree for the whole circle, so 360 minus this one is going to give me this one here. So 360 
from here to here minus the internal angle is going to give me this angle and then this angle the the, the backward minus this uh, angle here is going to give me the forward of the bc so i can say that i can use simple trigonometry to determine this one but it's not always easy sometimes it's confusing so when you uh, when you are going to do this for a uh, traverse, let's say, of uh, six si side, then this process is going to be confusing for you. So we are going to use a, a, systemat a systematic method, a simple method for you so that you can use it each and every time. So uh, remember, always the computation is proceeding in a counterclockwise, which means that I'm going from A to B and from B to C in this direction not from b to c and from uh, from c to b and from b to a you need to remember this we always our computation is going to be proceed in a counterwise direction i said here in this example we determine the forward of bc using the trigonometry but i'm going to use this formula which is easy uh, and it's less confusing for you in this formula uh, the the forward of BC, this one, which you want to calculate, is gonna be the forward of the previous line, which is uh, AB, plus the internal angle, this one, the internal angle between them, plus or or minus 180. So B A, A B represent the forward of the previous line, and uh, the angle AB represent the internal angle between the line AB and BC. And of course, BC is the what we want is the forward of the BC. So when should I add and when should I subtract 180? I need to look to the summation of the AB plus the angle B. This summation, AB plus the angle B. If the summation is less than 180, then we are going to add 180. If the summation is more than 180, then we are going to subtract 180. So whether to use plus or minus, it depends on the summation of this term, the summation of AB, the forward of the previous line, plus the internal angle between the two lines. So let's uh, apply this formula in this example. So the forward of the BC is going to be the forward of the previous line, which is AB, uh, uh, 96 degree, 30 minutes. This one plus the internal angle, Obviously, the summation of this term plus that term is going to be more than 180. So I'm going to, to talk about this case. And in this case, I'm going to subtract 180. And the value came out to be 35 degree 15 minutes, which is the same value as, as here. So you can use trigonometry or you can use this formula. OK, when the problem gets complicated, you are going to uh, find that it's, it's convenient to use this formula. So uh, knowing this, we are going to solve example. So in order to solve example, we need I need to know uh, I need to know two things. First, how to determine the forward and uh, uh, forward and the backward line. So here we have the relation between the forward and the backward, the backward direction or the backward line equal the forward direction plus or minus 180. And the second formula here, uh, in order to determine the forward of a certain line, knowing the previous line, I'm going to use this formula. The forward of the current line, which is this line, is going to be the forward of the previous line uh, plus the internal angle. Then I'm going to examine this summation. If it's more than 180, I'm going to subtract 180. If it's length less than 180, then I'm going to add 180. So let's see this example. So that is going to be uh, clear for you how to determine the direction for uh, a polygon. So here we have uh, a simple polygon. Uh, it consists of three uh, sides. I have uh, one, three, three, two, and two, one. We need to determine the azimuth direction for the other sides. And in this example, uh, they give us the uh, forward of one three the forward direction of one three okay and also they give us the internal angles all the internal angles are given in this example 
So we know all the internal angles and we know the forward of the line one, three. It's required to determine the uh, direction for the other lines, which means that I need to determine the forward for the line three, two and for three, one. And also I need to determine the forward of the line one, three and three, two and two, one. So each and every direction, it has forward and it has backward direction. So I need to, de de to, to determine uh, all of this. So in order to solve this matter, I'm going to separate the line A3 alone. Uh, of course, I need to determine the azimuth here and azimuth is. I'm going to separate this line alone like that. Then uh, I'm going to, do, to draw the forward of the line 1, 3, which is given here. But I need to, to see this uh, in drawing. So I'm going to draw, to draw this. To draw this, the starting point is 1 because it says here, the, the, the azimuth of 1, 3, which means that 1 is a starting point and 3 is the ending point. So in order to draw the forward, I'm going to put the reference direction, the north direction, at the starting point like that. Then I'm going to go uh, anticlockwise until I get to the uh, line 1, 3. So this one is given, which is 180. And also this angle makes sense because this one is more than 90 and less than 180. So now the azimuth of 13 represent the forward of the line 13, right? The azimuth 13 represent the forward of the line 13 because this one is the starting point and this one is the ending point. Which and the uh, value is given for for me. Also, if I know the forward of the line 13, I will be able to determine the backward of the line 13. Right, we learn to do that. So the azimuth, when we say the azimuth of three one, it means the 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 backward of the line one three. In order to draw the direction of that line uh, of the backward, I'm going to set up the uh, reference at the ending point, which is three. Then I'm gonna go uh, counterclockwise from the direction uh, from the reference direction up to the uh, the direction in the question. So I want to determine this, this angle represents the, the backward uh, line. And easily we learn how to determine the, the, the backward if, because the forward is given here. And since the value of the forward is less than 180, then I'm going to add 180 in order to get to get the azimuth 3, 1 or the backward of the line 1, 3. So this step is very easy. Now I need to go to the second line. The line from 3 to 2. I need to determine the uh, forward of that line. This one. In order to know the direction, I'm going to set up the uh, reference direction at the uh, starting uh, point, which is 3 in this line. Then I'm going to go counterclockwise from the reference toward the line in question, which is 3, 2. So I need to know this. So in this case, I'm going to apply the formula that we, uh, that we discussed earlier. In order to know the forward of this line, the current the current line in this case three two, I need to know the forward of the previous line, which is one three, uh, and also I need to know the internal angle. Then I need to examine the summation of this angle and that angle. If it's more than 180, I'm going to subtract 180. If it's less than 180, I'm going to add 180. So I'm going to determine the azimuth. Uh, of the line 3, 2, which means that the forward of the line 3, 2, okay, then the azimuth of the line 3, 2 is going to be the forward of the line 1, 3 plus the internal angle, okay. So this one plus that one, and it's obviously this summation is more than 180. Then in this case, I'm going to subtract 180, and the value came out to be 25. And 25 makes sense because it's uh, more than zero and it's less than 90. So this value makes sense for me. So now I determine the forward of the line three, two. If I determine the forward, it means that I can easily determine the backward, right? So the, the backward uh, of the uh, uh, line three, two represent the azimuth three, uh, two, three. In order to know the direction, I'm going to set up the uh, reference uh, direction, the north direction. Uh, at the point at, at the ending point, which is two, 
then measure counterclockwise until I get to the line. So I need to determine this. This angle here represent the backward of the line 3, 2, or we can call it the azimuth 3, 2. So if I know the forward, then I'm going to examine the uh, value of the forward, and the value of, of the forward is more than 180, uh, less than 180, then I'm going to add 180. And the backward or the azimuth 2, 3 came out to be uh, 205 degree. So now I determine uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the backward of this line and the forward is given. And then I determine the forward of this line and also I determine the backward of that line. Then I'm going to move to a, a new line. So now this one is going to be the briefest line and this one is going to be the current line. Now I need to determine the forward of the line 2, 1. So 2 represent the starting point. So I'm going to set up the uh, north here. Then I'm going to measure counterclockwise until I get to, uh, to the line in question, which is 2, 1. Then in order to determine the forward of that line, I need to know the forward of the briefest line, which is this one. Uh, then I'm going to add the internal angle and I'm going to examine the summation. Then this one plus that one, obviously the summation is less than 180. It means that I'm going to add 180. So now I'm going to determine the azimuth to one, and this one represents the forward to one. And the forward to one is going to be this angle, the forward of the previous line plus the internal angle. Then I'm going to examine the summation, and it's obviously the summation is less than 180, which means that I'm going to add 180, and the answer came out to be 240 degrees. And this one makes sense for me uh, because this one is more than 180, and it's less than uh, 270. Always try to check the uh, your 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 angle because sometimes you you may make a mistake. So. Now I determine the forward of the line to one, then easily I can determine the, the backward. I'm going to examine this value, this angle. Uh, since it's uh, more than 180, the forward is going to be this angle minus 180. So now I'm going to determine the azimuth one, two, or the backward of the line to one. And it's going to be the uh, value of the forward minus 180. And the value came out to be 60. So 60 here makes sense because it's more than zero and less than 80, like you can see here in the drawing. So this indication for 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 the value, whether it's uh, right or wrong. So now the final step is going to be like a check for me. Now I'm going to determine the uh, forward of the line one three. Remember. The forward of the line one three it was given for for me, so this step is not necessarily, but I'm going to make this step to uh, as a check. If if I'm going to determine the forward of the line one three, and uh, if the value came out to be as the same as the given value, it means that my work is correct. Otherwise, uh, it means I made a mistake. I need to correct my mistake. So now I need to determine this angle which mean uh, the forward of the angle one three in order to determine this one i need to know the forward of the previous uh, angle and also i need to know the internal angle i'm going to sum them together and i'm going to examine the summation it's obviously this one plus that one is more than 180 which means that i'm going to subtract 180. so now i'm going to determine the azimuth uh, the angle of the azimuth one three which mean uh, which means the forward of the line one three, and this one is going to be uh, the forward of the previous line, which is two forty degree, plus the internal angle between the two lines, which is sixty. Then summation is more than one hundred and eighty. Then I'm going to subtract one hundred and eighty, and the value came out to be one twenty degree. And this one is the same as the given value. Remember when we started this example here, the the value it was one hundred and twenty. Okay, the forward it was given for me. So when I uh, made all the calculation, when I get out here at the beginning uh, point, uh, I get the same angle, which means that my work is correct. So uh, the good thing or the beauty about uh, the uh, determining the uh, forward and the backward line, 
I always have uh, the strategy to make sure whether my work is correct or, or not. So after I determine everything, I'm going to uh, draw the the uh, the the the, uh, uh, the drivers again here uh, the uh, the azimuth one three it was given for me then I determine the azimuth three to one this one represent the forward and this one represent the backward then I determine the azimuth uh, three two and also the azimuth uh, two three this one represent the forward this one represent the backward and finally I determine the azimuth uh, two one and also the azimuth one two the azimuth 2 1 represent the forward and the azimuth 1 2 represent the backward. So I hope this example is clear for you. Now I'm going to talk about other example. So in this example, we have a traverse of five sides. So in this traverse, we have five sides. All the internal angles are given and also they give us the azimuth of the line 1 uh, AE. OK, the line AE is given for me. So uh, since he says that AE, that means uh, the A is the starting point and E is the ending point. OK, always you need to remember this here from A to E. A is a starting point, E is the ending point. So this one represents the forward. And remember, always we go counterclockwise. Always the uh, computation is going to be, is going to be carried out uh, in the counterclockwise manner. Because if you are not going to go in a counterclockwise uh, manner, then your equation is not valid. OK, you need to use other equation for that. So here uh, the forward of the line AE is given for me. So first I'm going to draw this line alone. So the first step I'm going to draw the line AE and then I'm going to draw the forward. In order to, to draw the forward, I'm going to set up the uh, north direction at the starting point. And then I'm going to measure counterclockwise. So this one represents the given angle. OK, so if I know the forward of AE, easily I can determine the backward, right? So I need to examine this angle. Uh, since this one is less than 180, then I'm going to add 180 to get this one here. So in order to get the backward line, I need to examine the value of the forward and uh, the value of the forward less than 180 then i'm going to add 180 so easy i can determine the backward from the forward now this step it may not be necessarily they determine the backward you can do this uh, after you finish the calculation sometimes this may, it may be confusing for you so you can directly determine the forward of the next line and the next line after you finish you can determine the backward for the all lines so now I'm going to add the next line, uh, which is ED. I need to determine the forward of the line ED. Uh, so uh, in order to uh, know the angle, I'm going to set up the, uh, the uh, reference at the starting point, which is E for this line ED. Then I'm going to measure counterclockwise. So this one represents the forward of the line ED. OK, and in order to determine the forward of the line ED, I need to know the forward of the previous line, which is AE and the internal angle. I'm going to add them together and examine the summation. So the azimuth ED or the forward uh, of the uh, line ED is going to be uh, the summation of the uh, forward of AE plus the internal angle. This one plus that one. Then I'm going to examine this summation. Obviously, this summation is more than 180 which means that I'm going to subtract 180. And here is the value of the uh, uh, forward ED or the azimuth ED. So I can easily determine this one. And this one, it makes sense because it's more than 80 and less than 180. Like that. So at this point, I can determine the, forward, uh, the backward. But in this example, uh, I'm going to delay this step. I'm going to determine the backward after I finish from the calculation. So now I'm going to move to the next line. I determine the forward of ED. Now I need to determine the forward of DC. First, you need to imagine the, uh, the, the, the direction of uh, DE. I'm going to set up the uh, uh, north direction at the starting point, which is D. Then I'm going to measure counterclockwise. So this one represents the forward of the line DC. 
So in order to determine the forward uh, of the line DC, I need to know the forward of the previous line, which is ED, and the internal angle. Then I'm going to examine the summation, and it's obviously the summation is more than 180. Then it means that I'm going to subtract 180. So uh, I'm going to add this one plus that one, and I'm going to examine the summation. And I'm going to subtract 180 because the summation is more than 180, and the value came out to be 44 degree 18 uh, uh, minutes. And the value, uh, the value of the angle makes sense. It's more than zero and less than 90. Then I'm going to go to the next step. I'm going to draw the next line. So I now I determine the the forward of DC. Now I need to determine the forward of CB in order to imagine. Uh, the, 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 the angle, I'm going to set up the uh, uh, reference direction at the starting point, which is C. Then I'm going to go counterclockwise. So this is what I want. In order to determine this, I need to know the previous, uh, uh, the forward of the previous line, which is this angle plus the internal angle. Then I'm going to examine the summation. And the summation here, it's obviously the summation is less than 180, which means that I'm going to add 180. So in order to determine the azimuth of uh, uh, CB, okay, uh, is going to be the forward of the previous line, which is given, plus the internal angle, and the summation is less than 180, which means that I'm going to add 180, and the value came out to be 329 degree. And this one uh, makes sense because it's more than 270 and less than 360 degree. Now I'm going to move to the other line. I determine the forward of the line CB. Now I'm going to determine the forward of the line BA. BA, I'm going to set up the reference line at the starting point, which is B. Then I'm going to go uh, counterclockwise. So this is what I want. Okay, so this is what I want. In order to determine this, I need to know the forward of the previous line plus the internal angle between the two lines. I'm going to examine the summation. So this one plus that one obviously is going to be more than 180, which means that I'm going to subtract 180. So this one plus that one, this summation is more than 180. I'm going to subtract 180 and the answer came out to be uh, 251 degree uh, 11 minutes. And this one actually makes sense because uh, it's more than 180 and it's less than 270 degree. Now I'm going to move to the next line. So now I need to determine the forward of the line e, uh, AE. Actually, this step is not necessarily. This step only uh, is going to be made as a check to make sure that the, uh, the, the forward of the line AE is going to be the same as the given value in the problem. So uh, what I want to determine, I need to determine this angle here. I'm going to set up the north at uh, the point A, the starting point, then I'm going to go counterclockwise. So I need to determine this. In order to determine this, I need to know the forward of the briefest line and the internal angles between the two lines. And uh, the this one is given for me. This one is also given for me. So I'm going to add this one plus that one, and I'm going to examine the summation. So this one plus that one, obviously it's more than 180, which means that I need to subtract 180. So this one plus that one, the summation is more one that is more than 180 then i'm going to subtract 180 and the answer came out to be 172 degree 39 minutes and this one should be as the same as the given value remember here the given value it was like that this was the given value okay so when i got here i got the same as the given value which means that my work is correct so now I'm done with everything. Uh, the azimuth of AE, it was given. So I can determine the forward. The azimuth of EA represent the forward. I can easily determine the forward. Since this one is less than 180, I'm going to add 180. So this one, the forward, this one, the backward line. Then I determine here the uh, forward uh, uh, of the line e e ED. And easily I can determine the backward. So this one is the forward and this one is the backward. This one is the forward plus 180. Here also I determine the forward uh, of the line DC uh, or the azimuth DC. 
came out to be this value, easily I can determine the backward. I'm going to add 180. Then I determine the azimuth of CB, this one here. And easily I can determine the backward. Here also, I determine the forward of the line BA, and I can easily determine the backward of that line. So always determining the backward is easy step. So if you solve this example, then everything is going to be okay for you. Sometimes we make some tricks like, for example, not giving you this angle, but you can do this because you know the uh, summation, theoretical summation. Theoretical summation is M minus two times 180. So if you have any missing angles, you can easily determine that missing angle uh, and then start the process. Uh, there are a few things you need to know. Always you are going, your computation is going to be uh, done in counterclockwise uh, direction. You need to know all the internal angles. If one angle is missing, you can easily determine the missing angle and then starting the, the process. These steps are important for us because uh, in the uh, uh, next lectures, we'll be able uh, this process is going to help us to determine the coordinates of points. And coordinates of points is very important uh, in surveying. Uh, we have also other or alternative method, uh, determining the forward of a line, knowing the backward. In this method, uh, we are going to say that the forward of the line BC is going, uh, is going to be the backward of the line of the previous line, which is BA. So here, we are going to use the backward line plus the internal angle. Then we are going to examine the uh, summation of the backward of the previous line and the internal angle. If the summation is less than 360, we are going to leave the value as it is. If the summation is more than 360, then we are going to subtract 360. So we can uh, examine this for the, this uh, example. So uh, the value of the forward is going to be the value of uh, is going to equal the value of the backward. The value of the backward is the forward plus 180. So this one represents the value of the backward. Then we are going to add the value of the internal angle. And it's obviously the summation of all of this is more than 360. And then I'm going to subtract 360 and then we get the angle. This one, we got this using the briefest method and also this alternative method. So also you can use this, you can uh, resolve this example using this uh, method. Okay, so try to use the method that you find it convenient for you. So I'm going to stop at this point if you have any questions.